everybody. It is Lori Key, the Realty Goddess of Los Angeles, California. Thank you for joining us on Chatterbox. I have my good friend, Tammy Caraba, with me today. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hi, how are you, Laura? I'm good. Things been pretty busy for you in the industry of lending? Oh, my goodness. You would not believe it. It's just insane right now. I know. It, it really is a lot going on. Glad I see we have a little co-host in the back. Who's that in the back? <laughs> Hi, Chico. Oh, Hi, Chico Pico. Came to talk shop with us today. He's perfect. He's great. He's your assistant. <laughs> yeah. um, so for those of you who don't know us, my name is Lori Key. I am a realtor. I have been in the business for 14 years. I started in this business in 2006, and I love what I do, and I do what I love. And I'm going to let Tammy introduce herself and let you know a little bit about her as well. Hi, everyone. My name is Tammy Caraba. I am a loan officer or mortgage loan originator at One Trust Home Loans in Encino. I've been a licensed loan officer since 1999 and in the mortgage banking business since 1986. So you've and got oh, a lot of years of experience here with us. Yes. And I've been at One Trust Home Loans almost six and a half years now. I love it. I can't believe it's been that long. That's crazy. Crazy good. Yeah. So Tammy, the big question is, is real estate still moving? Yes, it's still moving, even though we're still involved in this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But there are a lot of people now who are improving their homes, who are possibly seeing what they can do uh, to leverage their homes. So a lot of the questions are, how can I leverage my home? So let's talk about that today. Um, what, you, what kind of ideas do you have for people to be able to leverage and improve their situation with their home? So, you know, basically building their wealth. I think um, a great time right now or a great thing to do right now is um, refinance, cash out, pay off some debts and buy maybe a rental property or a second home. The rates are so low. It's a great time to take advantage of all those things. If you pull cash out right now to um, buy a rental property, um, it's going to help you build your wealth. You'll be able to get uh, maybe a tenant to pay the mortgage and cash flow a little bit um, or even break even. If you break even, you, you have to make sure you put some money aside in, a, a, in case of repairs or for repairs. And uh, if you break even, the tenant is basically you know paying your mortgage as your property appreciates um, which builds equity in your home. It's just, it's, it's better than putting money in the bank, in my opinion. What yeah, and now with today's option of Airbnb and properties, you can cash flow pretty good depending on where your property is, right? Yeah, well, you know, it depends on how much money you put down. If you're going to put a nice down payment, 20, 25% down on an investment property and buy in an area where it's semi-cheap and rents are pretty, pretty good, like um, maybe Palmdale or Lancaster, something like that, where it's not sky high yet on value um, of the property. Yeah, you're gonna, you might be able to cash flow if you put 25% down. And so you take that cash flow and you're gonna put it into the bank aside for any repairs. It's a, it's a great way to, um, to build your wealth and, and uh, put money in your pocket at the end of the day. And then also, maybe if you even have children that you're trying to help get them on a good footing, you would be able to get another property to help them start building their wealth too. There's so much you can do with your property to help increase your wealth and, and not just your wealth, but generational wealth for your family line down the road. Now, we have a pretty awesome tool that we love and it is called HomeBot, and, and I will have the link up here uh, for you to use. And what you can do is actually put your address in and put your information in, and it will give you a full scenario of what you could possibly do with the equity in your home. And so Tammy and I both have that tool. We, we partner together on that, and we offer that free to you. But it's always good to know what you could do besides just live in your home. Now, another thing that I see, Tammy, is almost everywhere I go now, I see homes are remodeling or upgrading because this is a great time, right? Perfect. And adding, you know, maybe an ADU. And the newest thing is that I heard is an ADU and even a third unit, but you have to occupy the property 
and that third unit has to be, I think, don't quote me, 500 square feet or low, uh, smaller, and you could literally rent it out. But more on that later. We'll do another uh, segment on that. How about that? Definitely. We're definitely going to do a segment on that because ADUs, which means additional dwelling units, guys, will definitely raise your value and you can rent them out. They are pretty common here in LA and they're much needed because there's always people looking for rentals. They used to call them, what, a granny pods and things like that. Granny but honestly, pods. the additional dwelling unit adds more value. Yep, but that, that's what we need to do is uh, you guys need to, you know, cash out. We don't, you know, and, and pull money out for, for another uh, property to buy and pull some extra cash or income um, into your pocket each month. Right. So now listen, guys, I want you to understand what it takes to be able to refinance or get some, if you cash out of your equity. So Tammy, can you please tell me what type of documents they need to bring you to see if they would be able to do the refinance and what you would need to get them started? Well, if you are a wage earner, so W-2 employee, uh, 30 days of pay subs, W-2s for 18 and 17. And I'd like at least one year tax return. So maybe 19 if you filed it, if not 18. And um, if you own a property, uh, mortgage statements and homeowners insurance, and that will get us started. And then- That's really not a lot of paperwork. That's really easy to get to you. Yeah, it's, it's simple. And I have an application you could fill out online super simple. Make all I'm going to put that link in, in our bio as well so that you get people can click that directly to Okay. Awesome. So guys don't sit on your wealth don't, you know, I don't think a lot of you realize just how much power you have in your homes. Your home is power. So we want to be able to help you to use that power to build more wealth, even for your retirement or for your generational wealth with your children. Yep. But that's what we are here for. So, Tammy, you got anything else you want to say before we leave today? Well, I do want to tell everyone to please contact me for all of your real estate financing needs. If you have any questions about the loan industry, would like to run a loan scenario by me or get um, purchase or pre-approval for a purchase to buy a home or refinance, please reach out to me. My contact information will be after this video. Be well, everyone. Stay safe and hope to hear from you soon. And guys, I am Laura Key. I am your realty goddess. I will help you actually to find those homes. And I will also help you if you need to find some contractors to help improve your homes as well. So I'm Laura Key. I am the realty goddess. And I wish you nothing but love, light, and blessings. Thank you for joining us for Chatterbox. We will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, Chico. Bye, Chico. Bye, Bye y'all.